Welcome to another Wall Street Informer production on WSI TV. Welcome to another uh, weekly market update. Uh, it's Sunday, the 18th of December, after the market closed on Friday, the 16th of December. Uh, let's look at the really big picture. This is the bull market that started in uh, 2000. And nine, uh, and as you can see, it was uh, wasn't exactly a smooth ride for the overall index. Here, this is the NYA, then all the market, all the stock markets, and the New York Stock Exchange, and um, you, you can see it's more of a bumpy ride. But if we go look at the S and P five hundred, you can see actually quite a smooth bull market, which did start to level off, even start to go down, and then more recently, he's actually um, making progress and. Uh, you know, pushing higher here, as I've been uh, commentating on on the last uh, last few weeks. Um, I think um, what's what's been confusing here is there's two charts here. The overall market, as I said, has a bumpy ride in the S&P 500. And so I've been looking at these two charts along the way, trying to figure out what's going on. Short term trend is undoubtedly um, upwards. Um, it's just hard to see the bull market can, you know, a new bull market starting uh, with valuations this high. It just doesn't um, typically happen. Or if it does, it, it just can't keep up for very long. Um, so uh, that's why I've been, you know, dubious about it whilst not getting in the way of the trend or even, you know, taking advantage of the short term trend. Um, but uh, so one thing though it has been missing to be fair before you could call a market top or this was the end of the bull market was you know there was no this kind of euphoric blow off top which typically how things end when everyone's a bull and you know the last thing you expect is for things to go south and everything seems fine that's usually when the bear shows up and you know uh, what that's the one thing that was missing that psychological element can't, wasn't there over the last year in fact a lot of people you know didn't trust this bull market so maybe what we need and what is happening right now is that final kind of euphoric blow off top that we you know the bear finally needs to put this to rest um, so we will see the January hangover could be uh, a nasty one uh, let's look at this is a three-year chart you can see there's no question about that you know that that's very you know stepping upwards bullish action like that as I did say last week it's very extended now way off of its uh, you know this is the 40-week rising moving average there and like I said it um, I said last week actually it would either gonna level off or it would um, correct in a healthy way hopefully and what it actually did was it let chose to level off as you can see from one week to the next that price is exactly, pretty much exactly the same. So it's kind of uh, refueling. Um, and you see that here in their day-to-day -day chart. Uh, one thing that was a little, Friday's action, it did sort of sell off towards the end, and you can see on this rise volume bar here, on, on, on uh, increased volume. Uh, so there was definitely a bit of profit taking there. If it leads to something else, uh, this week we'll see it. Although this is typically one of the bullish, you know, the next two weeks are typically you can't guarantee it, but typically, one of the you know the most bullish couple of weeks of the year. They just the the spirit around Christmas. It's just as simple as that. So if it comes back and if it can sort of hold it around here, twenty two forty, that'd actually be a healthy pullback. Or even twenty two twenty, um, I'd have to it'd have to be lower than this level here for me to start thinking that you know the things really could uh, start getting a lot worse for the market. Um, but definitely some selling going on. So for now, I'd still, I mean, the trend is, you can see right here, the trend is definitely upwards. There's that strong upwards trend, no question about it. I'm not gonna get in the way of that. And I'm gonna let some winning trades ride as my members uh, know about. Um, but um, uh, definitely still, you know, the market sort of you know, calling off a little bit and should see some just sideways action at least um, from here. So speak to you next week. Thanks for watching another Wall Street Informer production on WSI TV. Be sure to visit WallStreetInformer.com where you can become a member for free and gain instant access to the secrets of market millionaires via the Wall Street Informer Vault. So go ahead and claim this gift for free now at WallStreetInformer.com.